everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to recreate old money style at home using pieces that you already have. I'm going to be showing you three different looks. So if you're curious to see what my choices are, then please keep on watching. So really quickly before we start this video, I wanted to remind you that if you have not checked out Magic Mind yet, please definitely do so now. All of the relevant information will be in the description box of the video down below for you along with the coupon code. These little guys are productivity shots that basically fit in any kind of handbag that I've ever had. They are super practical. I love having one on the go. I'm basically always on the go as I work two jobs. So these have been great in giving me more focus, more productivity, and overall have made me feel better about myself. So once again, if you have not checked them out, please do so now. All of the relevant information will be down here. All right, so what is old money? So basically old money is wealth that has been passed down generation to generation. So these are very old, wealthy families. Think, for example, of big names such as the Rockefellers, Hiltons, etc. And now in today's society, it has become trendy to be old money or to have old money style. So what's old money style? Old money style basically refers to very understated pieces. So think, for example, of quiet luxury. What we want to see is um, very neutral colors, so no neons, no like, you know, super bright pink, anything like that. So think of black, cream, um, gray, um, beige, all of these are perfect for old many. We also want to see solid colors instead of having patterns, so nothing that has like big graphic tees. Um, rather solid, plain colors and plain clothes. We also want to see something that fits you well. So old money is basically something that's well tailored to your body and to your fit. So we don't want to see baggy clothes and also nothing that's super duper tight and therefore would be, you know, inappropriate or too showy. You also don't want to show too much skin. So basically, if you're showing the top of your body, if you're, you know, having a top that's like slightly revealing on the top, you don't want to show anything on the bottom and or vice versa. Um, so it's really important not to be too showy. Um, other than that, there's also accessories. So accessories are very carefully selected. They're either um, yellow gold or white gold or rose gold. So all of those threes, um, not too many accessories and they're carefully selected to match your outfit and to match your style and your you know complexion. Um, so the emphasis is put on the accessories rather than on the clothes themselves. We don't want to see any kind of big logos. Those are a no-no. So minimal to no logo, um, if at all possible. And um, in general, I think that old money speaks to, you know, sophisticated, timeless, classic elegance. So if you want to see the three different looks that I have in store for you using pieces that you already have in your wardrobe, this was important for me because rather than to tell you, oh, and you can buy this like at this place, anybody can do that. But I feel like it's important to be content with what you have and to create new looks with basic staple pieces that you very likely already have in your wardrobe. That's kind of the thing about old money is basic staple pieces. Um, that anybody can have. So if you want to see the three looks, stay tuned. All right, so I'll be presenting you three different looks for three different occasions. Our first look is going to be a casual look. Our second one will be an office look. And then our third one will be a going out look. So all looks are very simple. You'll see with very plain colors and they'll all feature different accessories. So let's get started with the first look. So the first look for the casual look, we have a pair of white shorts 
Mine are from Zara, but it really doesn't matter where they're from. Um, as long as, number one, they have no logos or in plain colors um, and also fit you really nicely. These are perfect for me. They're high rise, which looks best on me. So a pair of white shorts. That's a very good staple to have in your wardrobe. And then for the top, we have this little number over here, which is a t-shirt um, from Maj. It's a French brand. Once again, doesn't really matter. What matters is that it fits you well. I love the little lace detail um, on the top of the shoulders. It really does something for the outfit. So once again, no logos, plain colors, girly, soft, and cute. So for my choice of shoes, we have a pair of Hermes orange sandals. Once again, the brand doesn't matter as much as the quality of them. So leather obviously looks amazing. No big logos, nothing, you know, blingy with like sparkles and glitter and nothing of that. Plain colors, very efficient, very comfortable and easy to wear. And then for my bag, my bag is going to be um, this little guy right here, the um, Christian Dior book tote. This is in size old, small and new medium. So for me, this bag is perfect for a casual day out because it's extremely roomy. It's very lightweight. I've put a bag organizer inside, so it's very easy to find, you know, everything. And while there are some things that are going on on the bag, because the outfit is completely plain and the shoes as well are completely plain and the bag is still of neutral colors, I think this still qualifies as um, old money outfit with a twist, with an elevated thing about it. It makes me feel very good about myself when I wear it. So now I'll show you what it looks like on me. All right, so next up we have our office look. For our office look, we have a pair of tailored black trousers. Um, so they look like this. Mine are from Theory. Once again, the brand doesn't matter. What matters is that it fits me nicely. These are actually an amazing fit for me, which I wasn't expecting. It's really hard for me to find clothes that fit me, especially in terms of pants because of how tall I am. So when I try on pants, they're always too short and there's always something wrong with them. So I was very surprised to find these. Finding clothes that fit you and that look good and that make your type of body, your body shape look good is very important. That's the number one tip that I can give you. So these little guys, you'll obviously see a lot clearer from um, the close-ups and the mod shots. And then we have a little bodysuit um, that looks like this. So perfect for the summertime. Um, the brand is called Show Me Your Moo Moo, <laughs> which is hilarious. Show me your moo moo. Um, once again, it fits me really, really nicely. It's the perfect cut for me. Um, it's not too showy. Obviously, I have like a pair of pants, but you'll see it's not provocative. It's nothing like too deep of clothes or anything. And then with that, um, depending on, you know, the weather and more importantly, the temperature that you have at your office, I would recommend either a blazer or um, a sweater. So for me, I would choose a cashmere sweater instead of wearing it on um, myself, like you'll see in the mud shots and close-ups. I'm going to wear it right here um, on my back. This is the signature old money way to wear a sweater. Wear it um, tied right here and then on your back. This looks absolutely perfect. And I'll show you which accessories I would bring to the office. All right, so for my office look, I am going to bring out these little babies, the Chanel Classic Ballet Flats in the color combination of beige and then black. I love these shoes to death. They are perfect for any occasion that you have, whether it's to dress up or dress down or go to the office. Frankly, I could have used these shoes for all of the different looks but I wanted to show you different options. So if you don't have either these flats or any pair of ballet flats, that you could have different looks using sandals and whatnot. So these are going to be my little choices for the office. And with these, I would pair them with the Goyard Sandwich tote bag. I have mine in size PM in black. 
very understated. Goyard is one of the key brands when it comes to old money. Although it's not terribly expensive, it really represents exclusivity because of how difficult it is to get these bags. Not because they're incredibly expensive like Hermes bags and also not because there is a wait list, but more so because they're not very well distributed. So it's very hard to get your hands on them. There's only a few select stores in the US and you basically have to travel to these destinations to get one of these. So Goya really screams old money. my last look is going to be my dressed up look for my dressed up look I have a beautiful black long dress mine is from aqua what's important is that it doesn't show too much skin it's very conservative and it's also plain colored I love the little lace detailed it's very girly a very feminine very elegant sophisticated and timeless fits me nicely so basically screams old many and finally for the accessories, we have a pair of sandals. Mine are from Valentino. They're called the Valentino Garvani um, leather studded sandals. I've had them for the longest time, but they still look really nice. I love the color. The color is a color. It's not black or you know white, but it's also not like boom in your face pink. It's still very subtle, very soft, very elegant. So I love that. Again, you don't need to get these um, sandals. Basically, any pair of leather sandals will do. Um, you could potentially have worn heels. I actually don't wear any heels because of how tall I am, but you could have potentially worn maybe kitten heels. It would have been a good alternative. So if you have a pair of those, I would definitely recommend that. And then for my bag choice to pair with the sandals, we have the Yves Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in size nano in this gorgeous blush pink color. So what's important here is again, not the brand of the bag, but what's important is rather the color combination, how I coordinated um, the bag and then the sandals. And it looks nice because the dress is plain black and it's like maybe a little bit of a boom in your face, plain black, especially given how tall I am. But this really makes it a little bit more girly, a little bit more feminine, a little, you know, more more. <laughs> um, so I love this combination. Again, if you have that kind of combination of handbag and sandals or handbag and flats, handbag and kitten heels, I would highly recommend it because old money is also all about color coordination. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that the video was informational but also fun for you to see me try out these different types of outfits, these different types of looks. I hope that I was able to show you that you don't need to buy anything new in your wardrobe to achieve new looks um, and that it's not about necessarily the brands, it's about the quality of the products, the quality of the fabrics and how well they fit you. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.